Hello everyone, my name is Amadeo Ezra Murwanto and along with my partner Nicole Grace, we will be presenting about the company Metal Steel and its success in international venture. So today we are going to cover the following matters. Number one, the background of Metal Steel. Second one, the three enablers of internationalization of Metal Steel that enable its success in international venture. And then third, whether or not Metal Steel's competitive advantage is still sustain sustainable to this day. So let's start with a short background of Metal Steel. Metal Steel started as a small company in India around 1970 owned by uh, Lakshmi Metal. At that time, the global steel industry had been in a slump uh, for a quarter of a century due to excess capacity and slow demand growth. But Lakshmi saw an opportunity in purchasing the assets of distressed companies on the cheap for when the steel industry come back to life. So, Mittal Steel ke uh, kept growing internationally as Lakshmi, Lakshmi continued to acquire and purchase smaller and less successful steel industries. Around 2001, Lashmi's prediction had come true. The global demand for steel was booming, booming again for the first time in a generation and the steel prices were hitting records high. Now, by this time, Metal uh, already owned a lot of steel plants, uh, suppliers, and small, smaller industries. And then this allows Metal Steel to become one of the largest uh, steel makers. Finally, in 2007, after long considerations from both sides, uh, Metal Steel managed to merge with also one of the biggest steel companies, Arcelor. That major life-changing decision led to the creation of the company we know today as Arcelor Metal. So now we move on to the factors behind Metal Steel's success. Behind Metal Steel's success, there are three factors that allow the company to succeed at an international level. Cost advantage, differentiation, and customer value. The first one, cost advantage, is a benefit that a company can gain by controlling costs. It can either be achieved by offering lower prices for the same goods, or by earning more profits by having lower production costs. In Metal Steel's case, it is the later. As we can recall, Metal Steel's success is determined by its acquisition of uh, cheap and less successful companies when the global steel industry was at a slump. So now, with uh, Metal Steel's acquisitions of various steel plants and sources of raw materials, the company is able to produce steel at a lower cost than other companies, allowing it, uh, allowing it to make more profit in the long run. The second factor, uh, differentiation, is the benefit a company can gain by distinguishing its products to be more attractive than those of other companies. And as a large business uh, empire, Metal Steel is able to use its modern technologies and abundant resources to produce high-quality steel. By highlighting that their product is unique and has better quality, the company offers a stronger value for consumers, driving them to purchase products from their company instead of other successful companies, such as the HBIS Group, the Jiangsu Shagyang Group, uh, Nippon Steel, POSCO, the Ansel Group, and etc. This leads us to consumer value, which can be described as the consumer's satisfaction and perception of the product's worth. As we can see from the graph, uh, consumer value, customer value is uh, measured by subtracting the performance benefits from the cost of purchase. Since Arcelor Metal has both the differentiation advantage and the cost advantage, we can combine these two factors to measure uh, Arcelor Metal's consumer value. In this case, not only does Arcelor Metal offer its products at a lower price, 
but it also offers them in a high quality, which means that their customer value would be very high. High performance benefits subtracted by uh, the low cost of purchase results in high consumer value. Hello, so this is Nicole Grace Oriente. So I am here today to discuss to you if the competitive advantage of Mittal company is sustainable or not. So it has been discussed to you by my previous um, group mates about uh, the competitive advantage of the company in terms of cost of advantage, differentiation, and customer value. So just to recap, the customer value of the company is that um, they are selling uh, their product at a cheaper price without compromising its quality. Second is the differentiation. So the differentiation of what makes uh, the company unique. So. Um, for us, the company uh, is unique because um, it is the first global steel and mining industry uh, internationally and also it sells its product uh, at a lower price without uh, um, because of the resources that they acquire in um, buying assets. All right. So uh, the third is um, uh, the company values the customers so much, especially uh, to the uh, now uh, that they are trying to expand uh, their market in the European. And the, um, by uh, doing this one, uh, they are uh, meant are they are obsessed uh, to the customers uh, by providing quality products and also um, loving uh, their um, company or their um, customers um, in providing them um, innovative ideas as well as um, um, products with a high quality. So uh, this one are the competitive advantage of uh, the Amitao uh, industry. Also uh, from those information we can already um, say uh, that the competitive advantage of Amitao right now here in the, uh, the in today's uh, generation is um, sustainable so what makes it sustainable what are the core values uh, that the organization is implementing in order for them to achieve uh, this success one is uh, the sustainability so one of their core values is sustainability which means uh, that they are already um strategize uh, this one on how to sustain uh, their um success so they have to, they just have to um, scale it and achieve a more success of the organization. So regarding this one, uh, for the sustainability, they are acquiring assets uh, uh, to find more resources on, on how they will exceed and meet the expectations of the customer. Second is quality. So every company uh, needs to have that high quality in order for you to gain loyalty, customer loyalty. That is very important because quality is one of the measurements why um, your customers is coming back to you. So um, in that case, uh, they, are get a, they are getting a hold with the quality of the products uh, they are producing. And that is because of a third, because of their leadership of the company. Since the other company is um, already at its peak, uh, that is because of their leader. So um, the, their leader is one of the best because um, she, he value um, her, his workforce, his customers, and also his stakeholders. So why uh, does he value his stakeholders? Because uh, the company will not be able to what is it right now without uh, their help, especially the workforce. So in order for the workforce uh, to exert high quality efforts in producing or um, giving their best on their work, they have to reward them from the assets that they are acquiring. So in that case, that makes uh, the work program workforce or the employees important in the organization. So uh, they are uh, the best or the best recipe if you are trying to look at it uh, in a cookery. Uh, they are the most important recipe of a dish because of uh, uh, the success of the organization is oh uh, the workforce is coming from.
they are the most important recipe in the organization that is the workforce so you have to uh, make them as a family as a other uh, you need you need to make them feel important so, so that they will um, exert effort in creating and innovating ideas for the organization so lastly um there is an entrepreneurial bonus so uh, because the leaders is a uh, bold in um um acquiring assets for the company in order for them to have um, resources when um, the company is having its bankruptcy so uh, that makes it an entrepreneurial strategy it is one of the reason why uh, the company is already at its peak right now and uh, that's the reason why uh, uh, the company is already achieving the success they have because of uh, risk taking the risk um, as an entrepreneur um, you risk take King is very important in order for you to go out on your comfort zone so um if you want to be successful as an entrepreneur you have to risk um uh, or uh, take risk because uh taking risk is a uh, very import important and that makes you more um go out to your comfort comfort zone and uh, makes uh, the organization successful as possible so uh, with that being said with those um, capabilities and advantages of the company um, if you try if, if you will ask me if those competitors is this enough is those enough uh, for the companies to sustain their competitive advantage i think that would be yes because um they have already at a speak right now they have just to maintain uh, what they have and improve or innovate ideas that is needed on the company so as i check further details uh, regarding also the case of uh, the company they are uh, every single day they are trying to innovate uh, things especially on its operations uh, so that uh, it will um, be retain or remain the quality of the product and exceed the customer's expectation so since the other company is trying to expand on the european market uh, they are on um, trying to innovate more ideas uh, regarding uh, their products as well as as a whole company so um given those Innovating is a uh, very important because it is also one of the reason why the company is um, the first or the global steel and mining industry in uh, internationally. So if you wanted to be to have that competitive advantage as a company, uh, you have uh, to know uh, and understand on how to sustain your competitive advantage and how you increase or scale that one uh, through the path process of achieving your goals and objectives as an organization because um as i check if uh you understand your the sustainable uh, sustainable competitive advantage of the business um you are the leading mark uh you are the leading um industry or the leading on um, business in your industry all right so you can research that one because as i've checked further details or information in the internet it is a truth and that if you uh, have or you know the importance of uh, having the competitive advantage you can lead your industry your own company on that a uh, certain industry so in this case and uh, now i hope you learned something from me and are from us and uh, thank you so much for listening